Now you are listening to First Sunday Morning Service. Audio broadcast February 5, 1984. The late Bishop Woodrow Roche, Sr.
Everywhere you go, there is trouble. There is trouble. Everywhere you go, there is strife. There is strife. Everywhere you go, there is something for sure. But remember, God is standing by. Everywhere you go, there is trouble. There is trouble. Everywhere you go, there is strife. There is Father, he'll be right there. Yes, he will. 
yes he will. Got him. Yes he will. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yes he is. Yes he is. God is love. Yes he is. God is peace. Yes he is. Yes he is. Yes he is. Oh God, God is, God is, God is, God is, yes he is, yes he is, yes he is, to be your mother, when your mother is, to be your father, when your father is, to pick you up, to turn you around, to place your feet, solid ground. God is, God is, God is, God is, God is, God is, oh yes he is, yes he is, yes he is, yes he is, Someday you will be free. Amen. Every child of God that been have repented of their sins and been baptized in Jesus' name and received the gift of the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost is abiding with you right now, you ought to be free. Because he that the Son set free. What the song is talking about, one of these days we'll be free from this life, Amen. from this old world. Amen. Praise God from the cares of this life. We'll be free after a while. But while we're waiting on that freedom, we're going to remain free so we can be free. Amen. Because if you don't die free, your trouble just begin. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Someday I'll be free. God got a way out. God has a way out. Amen. Praise God. He do have a way out. Thank God for his way today. So I want to call your attention for a little while to the 100 Psalms. The 100 Psalms. Praise God. Don't forget Monday night prayer from 8 to 9 and also on Tuesday night service at 7.30 Gets at 7.30. We're asking, amen, all of you that are free to be here on Tuesday night. Amen. You're going to find us coming to you on Tuesday night from the third chapter of James, the book of James on Tuesday night. The 100 Psalms and the fifth verse. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. Down through the years, the Lord has been good to me. Amen. What I want you to do, I don't want you to thank them. Let your mind dwell on what your problems are. But let's think about the goodness of God. Praise him. 
God have did, an, amen, praise God, enough for us, for us to be on fire for him. Do you listen to the testimony that came from Sister Peterson? We ought to be happy right along with her. Because the Lord did. Praise him. And our mother McCoy, just to look on her, sit and talk with her at home or either over the phone, it's enough to make you happy. When you know the condition that these people been in. Then our mother Mo, how the Lord brought out. Got her fixed so that she can take her own bath. We can sit down through the year. The Lord has been good to us. And Sister Buck and I was telling mention about her children and our children. And we can look on our children. We can look on our children's children. And we can sit down through the year. The Lord has been good to us. Why don't you just give God just a hand wave? Praise God! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Holy Ghost. Praise God. I'm not saying that you were sitting in your trouble free. I'm not saying that you were without problems. Let's get our minds off our problems just for a few moments. And think about the good thing that God has done and what the Lord is doing right now. Praise God. Amen. Last Sunday, this time, amen, we was all moved to where we were going to the tender home going service. Of Mother Billy. Praise him. Amen. As I said on the other night, some God heal and deliver and bring them out of the hospital. But Mother Billy, God took her home. And praise God, she don't have to worry about what we've got to worry about. Because all over with her. That was the way out God had for her. And you know, sometimes we quote scriptures, we read scriptures, we even preach sometimes. And the more you dig into these scriptures sometimes, something new come up to you. I've quoted, and I've heard other people quote many a time. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivered them out of them all. Praise the Lord. And on our way to the home going service, Mother Bill, that script came back to my memories. And I, mean, I began to dwell on all. Deliver them out of them all. And I thought about Mother Bill. I said, well, a lot have delivered her out of them all. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are being delivered from some, but we haven't been delivered from all. Praise God. And while we are going through here, we got to be faithful. Because God got a way out. And when God get ready to take us out and deliver us from all, praise God, everything will be all right with him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We got to get like Paul, learn to glorify and to praise God even with our affliction. Amen. God be glorified. Praise him. Even with our headaches, 
your high blood pressure, your low blood pressure, whatever is wrong with you, give God the praise. Praise the Lord. Amen. That fifth verse, what it says, someone read it again. For the Lord is. Now, nah, I'm sure I'm talking to some people here today that know God is good. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Won't you shake somebody hand and say, that is the truth. <laughs> Woo! The Lord is good. My God, my God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. For the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Not just for a few days. For his mercy is everlasting. And his truth endure to all generations. God doesn't have a truth just for one generation. But God truth it to all generations. Praise him. You can't say it was for the generation that was before me. Before our time. But even in our time, his truth is for this generation. And the generations to come, his truth is for them. Praise God. You know what I love about God? God changes not. Huh? How many of you saints are glad today that you're serving a God that don't change? Praise him. Amen. He praise God. He don't confuse you. Sometimes people confuse. Or may I say sometimes we confuse one another with our change in self. But God never changes. He's the same yesterday. Today. And tomorrow, he's the same God. Praise the Lord. Praise him. He said, I am God, and I change his life. Praise the Lord. And I'm glad for his word. It doesn't change. People change. Time changes. Custom change. But God never changes. Praise God. Even in a changing time. God is still the same God. Amen. Praise God. He's still saying, repent and be baptized. Every one of you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For remission of your sin, he's still saying, receive the Holy Ghost. Speak with other tongues. As the Spirit of God give us. He don't change. Read that again, sir. Praise God. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. I want to use down through the year. The Lord has been good to me. Now, amen. Praise God. I'm just about finished. Thank God. I want you to get the first verse there. Praise God. Let's see what it says now. Since, now, since we don't establish that God is good, huh? we got something to be excited about. Praise him. You, you, you know why so many saints are, are, are quiet? Because all the excitement is gone. Huh? When, when, you, when the excitement is there, you was excited. The thrill that you receive when you receive the Holy Ghost, it's not there any longer. Huh? So therefore, you're not thrilled anymore. Praise him. Amen. All of the thrill is gone. Praise the Lord. And you need to cry out to God to restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Praise the Lord. Saints of God, when you got joy like you ought to have, you are happy. In the midst of trials, you are happy. Because you, you, you praise God and esteem in God as being good God. 
He's a good God. Praise God. He makes you happy. He gives you joy. He thrills you. Praise the Lord. He turns you on. Praise God. And when God turns you on, praise God, he's able to keep you turned on. Praise God. God is good down through the years. The Lord has been good to me. Make a what? A joyful noise. Now, since God has been so good to us, we ought to be able to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Why? Because he is the one that has been good to me. Yes, he has. Praise the Lord. I said, get your minds off what you need now. Get your minds off what you don't have now. And think about the goodness of God. Think about how good God been to you. Then think about it. Amen. Amen. You look where you are sitting. God woke you. Can't you see the goodness of God? Can't you see God being good when you wasn't good? Praise God. Can't you see God being good when you wasn't doing like you should do? But yet God is good to us. Today, praise God, I don't know about you, but I thank God for his mercy. Praise the Lord. Amen. If amen, justice crying, get rid of him. Don't put up with him no longer. But mercy stepped in there. Mercy pleaded the call. Amen. And praise God and amen. So let him live a little while longer. Praise the Lord. If God had to listen to justice and something to cut me off, praise God, amen, he'd have been just in doing what he did. Praise God, but mercy to give him another chance. Today I'm happy in Jesus. Today I can sit down through the years. The Lord has been good to me. Let the church shout, the Lord has been good to me. Come on, brother, amen. Thank the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Oh, Eli. Praise God. Serve the Lord with gladness, and not with a long face. Praise God, not with a sour look. Amen. But serving with gladness. Lord, have mercy. Amen. When they meet you at the door, be glad. When you're inside the house, be glad. When you come out, be glad. You may be hurting, but I'm glad to be in the land of the living. I'm glad for the blood that running warm in my vein. I'm glad I'm not number with the dead. Thank God, amen. I can sit down through the years. The Lord Lord have been good to me. Serve him. Serve him. Serve him. Serve him with gladness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just be glad in your heart. Hallelujah. I hear some people when they get charged up, they say, I got the glad, glad, glad. Amen. I don't know how to amen, describe that, but all this, and I'm just glad, glad, glad. Amen. When you think about the goodness of Jesus, amen, you ought to be glad. When you come down to serving him, you ought to serve him with gladness. Praise the Lord. Oh, yeah, maybe you got something you could cry about right now. But let's not cry right now. Let's think about the goodness of God. Hallelujah to God. Maybe some of y'all, praise God, got a real urgent need. It feels like it's urgent to you that you need the thing right now. Praise God, but get your minds off of that need and think about the goodness of God because God is good right now. Right where you are sitting, God is good. Amen. Your pressure may be up, but God is good because you haven't turned into a stroke. Praise the Lord. God is great. And he is greatly to be praised. Praise him in the morning. Praise him at noon. Day. Praise him in the evening. Praise him when the sun go down. Just praise him. Hallelujah. What does it say, brother? Read. My God, come before his presence. My God, amen. 
The only glad folks can sing. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You don't find sad people singing. You find them complaining and begging. Pray God, but come before his presence. We're singing. When you come to his sanctuary, come with gladness. Come with singing. Praising God. Amen. Sign yourself singing around the house. Singing on your job. Singing when you're riding alone. Something we don't hear too much now. People used to moan. Hallelujah. And they would be singing. You could, you could walk up to somebody's house and pray to God and they'd be humming. They would be singing. But you don't have too much of that now. Praise God. Almost strange thing now. They hear somebody moan. Or hear somebody singing. Praise God. Amen. Because we got so much wrong with us. So much complaint. Amen. We're not complaining about sickness. We're complaining about being broke. I need this money. I need the other. But I told you the other night how to get money. Praise our God. Amen. And God said, try me now. And see what I open the world of heaven. And pour you out a blessing that you won't have room to receive. If you don't have no money, it's because you're not giving God a tip. You're not giving your offering. Because God done challenge us. Say, if you do it, praise God. I'll open the world of heaven. And God can't lie. <laughs> Why don't you try to see? God said, if you do what I say, I'll make you the head and not the tail. I'll fix it so you won't have to borrow all the time. You have something to lend, but do like I tell you to do. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise our God. But you see, praise God. Folks done got out of the will of God and got into their own will. Even you find a lot of people, they're living the way they want to live. They're doing the way they want to do. They're not following God's rule. Amen. You're not following God's word. Amen. But they got a way that seemed right to them. And in your way, you're having it hard. Y'all can help me if you want. But I said, down through the years, the Lord been good to me. Yeah. Praise our God. Give God what belongs to him. I can't hear nobody out there. I said, give God what belongs to her. And God will give back to you. You can't be God given no matter how you try. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise him. Solomon said, now if you want your bonds filled, so just honor the Lord with your substance and with your increase. If you do this, I'll fill your bond. And brothers and sisters, when your bond gets filled, you can get anything you want. You don't have to beg nobody for nothing. Because God done fill your bond. You can go downtown. You can bypass the goodwill. You can bypass the salvation. Amen. Praise God. Ain't nothing wrong with these places. But when God fill your bond, you can go to the brand new pro. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's get back to doing it God's way. Let's search the word of God and find out what God's way is. And then line up with God's way. Praise God. Amen. And praise God. Amen. God said, you be with me. 
I'll be with you. Is that right? If you forsake me, I will forsake you. And brothers and sisters today, when God forsake us, we are in trouble. Oh, yes, we are. There's trouble when you go out. There's trouble when you come in. You don't have peace nowhere. In or out. On the job, no peace. In the street, no peace. In your home, no peace. Because you're forsaken God. But when we turn back to God, God said he'll turn back to you. When we seek the Lord, amen, with all our heart, God said you'll be found. You can find him. Hallelujah. God is still saying, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, hallelujah, and seek my fame, turn from the weak way. Ah, well, yeah, from heaven, I hear you, Lamb. Let the church shout hallelujah. Down to the hill. God, come on, my son. Woo! Down through the years, the Lord has been good to me. Hallelujah. Let the church say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. And since God has been so good, we're going to serve him. How? Read on, son, huh? Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that um, did what? Have made us real. Praise God. How many of y'all can say, I'm what God made? <laughs> Lord have mercy. When I look on the saints of God, I ought to be able to see the hand the work of God. You are God creation. You are what God created. Hallelujah. God created you the way he wanted to create. Let the church say amen. You can't even pick your place in the church, in the body of Christ. Amen. God placed you in the body as it pleased him. Praise God when you find your place where you fit out in the body and work in that place. You can be a blessing to God's people and you receive blessing from the Lord. Praise God, but when you don't know your place, you'll be working in everybody's place. And this is why we have so many head-on collisions in the house of God because somebody's out of place. Let the church say, Amen. Praise God. Amen. Y'all hear in the news and also in the paper about this man that they had this accident on the George Washington Parkway. Amen. Praise God. The man ran head on head with this woman. Praise God. And killed her. The paper says she's a mother of 11. Amen. The reason why they praise God was a head on collision because somebody was driving on the wrong side of the road. And that really ran ahead of her. And because of the woman died, praise God, because somebody wasn't driving the way they ought to drive. And the same way in the body of Christ, if you're not in your place, there's going to be a head on collision. That really gets somebody fussing and fighting bittering and biting among one another because somebody out of play. Amen. You can't praise God when you're out of your play because there's fighting and war going on. But when you get in your place and everybody begin to praise God, amen, you're just shouting good time. Praise God. Everybody's saying the same thing. God is good. God is good. Praise the Lord. What does it say, son? Read. He is God. He is he that has made us. Someone give me 1 Peter 2 and 5. Not we ourselves. We are. We are his people. We are the sheep of his pasture. Everything that your sheep need is in God's past. God has supplied everything we need. Praise God. 
Amen. Read on what it says. <laughs> Enter into his gate with thanksgiving. Saints, when the Lord bless you to come to the place of worship, praise God. You ought to come in here with thanksgiving. Don't you know it's a privilege, it's a pleasure. It's a wonderful privilege. This is a golden opportunity to be able to come unto the sanctuary. Praise God. Now listen to your saints. Amen. We got to realize when we come into the sanctuary, we are coming into the presence of God. And we ought to be very particular how we approach. Y'all don't hear me. The presence of the Lord. Woo! We are not approaching with mumbling, complaining, grumbling, pouting, backbiting, striping hatred. Hallelujah. That's a dangerous way to come to the sanctuary. Praise God. When we come to the sanctuary, we ought to come looking for a blessing out of the house of God. I left my home or I left my job or wherever you left from to come to receive a blessing from the Lord. Praise our God of everybody. Woo, come with that type of mind. God got to bless. You got to go back home talking like the Emmy disciples did. Saying, did not our heart burn. Woo, Lord. Within, praise God. While the Lord spoke with us. By the way. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. I said, God is good. God is good to me. Praise God. Amen. Lord, have mercy. What does this say? Something? Enter in this gate with thanksgiving. Lord, have mercy. How many of y'all are thankful to the Lord today? You are thankful. That the Lord will bless you and allow you to come to this sanctuary. Amen. You are thanking God for blessing you to be able to be able to sit in here in the midst of your sisters and brothers. It's a blessing from the Lord. Praise Him. When I look back and I saw Sister Tony's son, I said, Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. It's a blessing to see him in here today. Praise God. I'm blessed to see Brother Rose. Blessed to see all of y'all, saints. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because it could have been that you're looking on me and I not know anything about it. Praise God. Let, let us learn to come to the house of God because I want to be there. I feel the need of being there. I'm not going to keep Bishop Roach's mouth shut. I'm not going to keep the people I'm saying talk, talking about me. I'm coming because it's right for me to be here. Call amen. You could stay home. You could lay in your bed. Praise God. But when you make these sacrifices, I'm going to be man to the house of God. I'm looking for a blessing from the Lord. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go up to the house of the Lord. Ain't you glad there's still a few people that love the house of God? Hallelujah. Because one day, children, you're going to hear God say, well done. Praise God. Sister Bob not in her testimony. She mentioned that she gets alone into for the saints. To see him, see how they're doing. Praise God. 
Now, amen. Lord, fix it so she wind up here today. Now, amen. And the sense that she know, when she got there, she should be able to see him. Huh? She shouldn't have to make phone calls. Shouldn't have to praise God, ask where is so and so so. If there's a veil of an able, they should be here. Praise him. Praise the Lord. Amen. You see, praise God, a lot of us have lost the secret of getting blessings. Not only would you give in your offering and your tithe, but your faithfulness. Huh? Sometimes God does to do something for your body because you're faithful. You're faithful in serving. You're faithful in living. You're faithful in giving. And God, when you're faithful all the way around, God can't hold back from you. Praise the Lord. I'm speaking to you children that can see me only find it possible to come to church on Sunday morning. I can't see you no other time. You better get faithful because God is good to you. Praise him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Don't get this type of, oh, it's service night. Guess I better get on out there. Well, it's Thursday night. Guess I better get up here. And get on out there. Honey, let me tell you something right now. You did yourself a big favor when you stayed home. Let me tell you something. God, get along without you. And you need God. Heaven going to be heaven if nobody go there. Huh? John said in the book of Revelation there are four and twenty elders right now. Lord got somebody saying hallelujah right now. Why don't you all shout hallelujah? <laughs> Woo! If you don't shout, if you don't praise God, God is being praised. Let me remind you what Jesus said, these hold their peace. The rocks will immediately cry. Let me tell you something, praise God. God don't have to get a knot to rock to cry. God can save some of these drug addicts. Because some of these people, the amen, they're not on drugs because they want them. That was something that they was introduced to, and they got hooked on it because they was finding, they were looking for something. Praise God. Most everybody that get involved in something, they got involved because they were looking for something. And they met up with the wrong people, and the people that they met up with, all they had was the drugs. Praise God. Amen. A lot of people got involved with the option suck because somebody introduced them and saying this will help you. Praise God. Sometimes people are having trouble to, amen, in their bodies and especially some of these young women and the first thing somebody say, you need a man. Oh yeah, I won't doubt that. I won't dispute that, but you don't need the man they're talking about. You need the man Christ Jesus. Huh? Because the man they introduce you to, he'll mess you up and leave you. Praise God. Look at this is a terrible day that we're living in now. Thank God, amen. That's what I'm saying to you that are seeking a husband or a wife, you better consult God. Because these fellas now, they'll load you up with children and walk off and leave you. Huh? Praise him. Amen. Most people just getting married for convenience anyway. Not no love. Some of them ain't even, ain't even think about no sex, just convenience. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You do your thing and I do mine. Praise him. And no more do such thing. Husband rule over the wife. They get a degree, they agree. So what well, you do like you want to do? And I do like I want them. With the scripture for that. And this women live thing, they're getting all in the sanctified folks. Amen. 
the women want to be recognized just like the men in the church of God. Praise him. Amen. Amen. I'll leave that long. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise him. That's the reason some of them have so much trouble with the husband. And why? No harmony. Young man, when you get married, you don't have all of you no more. You don't do like you want to do. You got somebody else to please. Young lady, when you get married, you can't please yourself. You got to please your husband. Yeah. Praise God. Down through the years, sir, the Lord has been good to me. Praise God. Read on, David. Praise God. The Lord is good. His mercy. His mercy. His mercy. That too is everlasting. Praise God. His mercy is not just a few months, but it's an everlasting. It's true and do it to all generations. Praise the Lord, son. First Peter two and five. All right, thanks. Stand up with me. Y'all know what Ephesians two and one says. It said for you or what? For you, Ephesians 2 and 1 say, for you are dead, you were dead, you were dead, and ye how he quickened, who were dead and trespassed in sin. Can anybody say that was me? Huh? You has he quicker who were dead and trespassed in sin. I was dead and in sin. I was dead, Deacon Moore, and in sin. Maybe y'all was. Huh? I was dead, Ella, and in sin. But he had quickened me. And when he quickened me, I became alive. Praise the Lord. Won't you give God a little hand clap? <laughs> Praise him. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hold it. Praise God. All right, what did Peter say? Mm hmm He was also. A lively stone are built up a spiritual house. Now listen to you. Every one of you that have the Holy Ghost, you're supposed to be a spiritual house. Huh? You are built up a spiritual house. That means you don't fool around with unspiritual things. Because you are spiritual. That means you can't fellowship with carnal folks. Because you are spiritual. You have nothing in common. Praise him. You got some people claim to be saved, but they're just as carnal as they can be. And you and praise God, you and them can't have no... Because you don't talk the same talk. Huh? The Bible says they that fear the Lord, they speak often one to another. Praise God because you amen, amen, both the all that fear the Lord. Praise the Lord. And sometimes people get angry with you when you become spiritual. 
Come on with me too. That's the price you got to pay for coming spiritual. And that's all right. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sometimes they say you think you're more than anybody else. I didn't say it, but you did. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible said, draw nigh to him, and he'll draw nigh to you. If you draw nigh to God, the closer you get to God, the more spiritual you are. The further away you walk away from God, the less spiritual you are. Praise him. Amen. What is this? That's unreal. Ah, holy. Holy priesthood. Lord, Lord Jesus. Can, amen. How many of y'all believe you are holy? Amen. <laughs> Woo! I read the devil whack on you. He want to get you unholy. How many of y'all know that today? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Keep your hand in the hand of a man that's still the water. Job said, though you're a slave man, but I'm going to trust you. I'm going to stick with God. How about you? What does it say, brother? Read him. Offer of spiritual sacrifice. Why God don't come with God with something not acceptable? Because God will not accept it. He'll turn it down. Thank God, amen. If it's not right, God don't want it. And you can't force it on him neither. Praise God. God is only accepting that which is right. Praise God. I don't care how much knowledge you have. If it's not, amen, whatever you offer is not right, God is not accepting it. And let me tell you, ain't only you getting upset when God turn you down. Just go do it right, that's all. Praise God. And amen. God said to Cain, if thou do it well, shall not thou be accepted? And the same thing go to you and I. If you do it right, you is accepted with God. Let the church say amen. Praise God. Amen. Saints, y'all can walk around with your eyes closed if you want them. But you better open your eyes. Because Satan is doing everything that he can to defile you. And you better keep your eyes open. They ain't no need of fasting and praying if you ain't going to watch. And they ain't no need of watching if you ain't going to pray. The Bible says, watch down in all things. Let me tell you all something. You may not agree with me, but you got to watch everybody and everything. And you better listen to what you are hearing. I don't care if it's coming from my mouth. You better listen to it. Praise God, because some of these things, the devil is bringing forth. The devil is using folks. He's using their mouth. That's the only way he can talk it through your mouth. The only way he can act is get in you and act it out through your body. But you better watch. Lord, have mercy. Amen. The Bible says Satan have transformed himself into an angel of light. Satan, he looked like an angel, but he ain't nothing but the devil. And if you can't discern it, he'll pull one over on you. Amen. No small thing. Even his ministers are being transformed. Let the church say amen. The devil got preachers out here. The devil got deacons out here. The devil got mothers out here. The devil got amen, his imps out here. Hallelujah. You ain't the only one dancing. He got dancers dancing right along with you. You ain't the only one quoting the scripture. He no more scriptures than you know. Hallelujah. The thing that you need to know today that you should have had the spirit of God. Amen. Put your hand together and give God a great big applause. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. God is good. God is good. Down through the years. The Lord has been good to me. God bless you, children. We'll stop it. Praise God. Down through the years, the Lord has been good to us. Praise God. Praise God. I wonder if anybody here can believe God today. I come up here and get some prayer. 
thank God, amen. Thank the Lord. For he that come to God must first believe. You got to believe God. Thank the Lord. You got to, y'all can be seated. Praise God. Anyone desire prayer, praise God. Amen. But I'm telling you, ain't no need to come in if you don't believe. Huh? Because time out for making vain walks. He that come to God. No music right now, please. I want you folks to hear me. He that come to God. You got to believe. Believe that he is. And that he is a reward. Of them that daily John is Praise him. Anything in your life need to be straightened out. You need to get do something about it. Praise God. We are here to anoint you with all. And we are here to pray with you. And pray for you. Praise him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But you want prayer. You make your own move. Come on up and get prayer. Come to Jesus. Come now. Praise God. Time is running out, sure. This time is running out. Praise God. Ho! Oh! Time is running out. When I think about those children that got burned up in these houses on this past week over there on 11, 11 6th Street Northwest right across from where Sister Thomas lived those children didn't have a chance burned up Just the other day, nine more got burned up in our metropolitan area, some parts of Maryland here. Praise the Lord. In other cities, some got burned up. Children, don't y'all play around. You get right with God. Time is running out. Some of you young people drive automobiles. You could have been in some of these accidents that happened on this past week. Head on collision. But God been good to you. Praise him. Amen. If anybody in here doing things they ain't got no business doing, you better quit it. Called time running out. Praise him. You can't hide. Because God got your number. And you know where you live. The eyes of the Lord is in every place. Beholding both good and evil. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let the church say thank you, Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Down through the years, the Lord been good to me. Yes, right with God. I yes. Oh yeah, down. Okay. Let me tell you, girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, girl. Oh, yeah. Down.
Praise the Lord. You were listening to the late Bishop Woodrow Roach, Sr. Audio broadcast service join us every Saturday at 12 noon on Facebook and YouTube. God bless.